Okay. So 4.4. Factoring easy trinomials. It just sounds nice, doesn't it? It is. It's a nice section. But the next one is factoring the hard trinomials. So easy trinomials. So let me bring it up here. T squared plus 9T plus 14. And they want me to factor. Okay. Now, so let's, let's try what we've already learned. It won't work, but I want us to try it so we know why we need something new. What have we learned so far to do? We've learned to look and say, what do they all have in common? Nothing. Right? They don't all have a T. That 14 has no letter at all. There's no number they all have. So you can't do that. Okay. Well, then we'll do the, what, what was the other thing we did in the last section? The 2-2 two, two split. Well, we can't do that. There's only three terms. There's not four. It's a trinomial. It's a three-termer, not a four-termer. So already we're out of ideas if we don't do something new, right? Everybody see it? You can't, there's nothing in common, and they're not four terms. You can't do a 2-2 two, two split. So we need something new. What do we need? Well, you probably know already, huh? For three terms, you do the, the FOIL thing. Yeah, you can write FOIL if you want. Um, you don't have to. Two, I'm looking for two parentheses that will basically foil out to go back and become t squared plus 9t plus 14. All right. So foil is, is a good way to go, especially in the next section, the hard ones. I'll be using foil a lot. Foil stands for first, outer, inner, last. Just a good way to remember how this, um, these terms, where they come from. So first means the first one in this parenthesis times the first one in that parenthesis to make t squared. What times what makes t squared? Well, t and t, huh? t times t is t squared. No big surprise there. Now, what about for the last? Last in this parenthesis times last in that parenthesis to make 14. What times what makes 14? Yeah, 7 and 2. 2 times, it doesn't matter what order, either order, 7, 2, 2, 7, whatever. 7 and 2. And, and how do they make the 9? They add to be the 9. They multiply to be the 14, and they add to be the 9, don't they? You see that? That's how FOIL always works. You multiply to be the number at the back. You add to be the number in the middle. And, 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 that, and these are both plus, and we're done. And you can do the other order. I'll say, or you can put the t plus 7 first, then the t plus 2. Same answer either way. Yeah? What about the diamond method? Yeah. Some people really, yeah, totally. Some people really like the diamond method. Um, I always forget how to do that. What do you do? You put the 14 there and the 9 down there? You multiply the outer. Yeah. <laughs> so you say multiplies to be 14, adds to be 9, you go 2, 7, like that. Yeah. Great. That's just another way of doing it. If you're good with that, feel free to do that. And then, like, when there's a number in the front, don't you have to, like, add? I don't remember how that works. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 There's something else you got to do. But we're not, we're not quite there yet. That's the whole next section. We have numbers in the front. Okay. So, so we've got S squared minus 40 minus 3. What, what's up with that one? It's early on in this, but I bet some of you already recognize. It's out of order. Do you notice that? It's, it's, supposed, to be, it's supposed to be highest power to lowest, isn't it? So the first thing to do on this one is switch these guys, make it S squared minus 3S minus 40. Now, now do the two parentheses thing. Yeah, so first put them in order. First, first reorder. First reorder. Now do the, the two parentheses, you know. You're thinking about FOIL. You're thinking about multiple. Use calculator if you're rusty on some of these times tables. You want numbers for multiply by 40 and somehow add. <clears throat> when we say add, we really mean add or subtract, don't we? Because if you add a negative, that's subtraction. So. so the middle is add or subtract, really.
Okay. S, that's not very good S there. So S and S in the front, right? Front times front makes front. Last times, what times what multiplies to be 40? And some come out, make a negative 3 in the middle. Eight, 8 and 5, right? 5 and 8, 8 and 5, order doesn't matter. I'll go 8 and 5, whatever, either way. But the signs do matter, huh? The order doesn't matter, but the signs do matter. How, how do you do the signs? Well, whatever sign is in the middle, let me just write this over here for you. Sign in the middle is goes on the bigger. So which which is bigger, eight or five? Eight. So the sign in the middle goes on the bigger. So there's minus in the middle. That is always taken by the bigger number. The sign in the middle always goes to the bigger number. The other one is plus. Why? Because negative eight and positive five make negative three. That works, doesn't it? And they positive times negative does make negative 40 when they multiply, right? So we're good? There it is. But you could switch the orders. Let me say, or you could have S um, plus 5 coming first and S minus 8 after. That, that's okay. It doesn't matter the order. It just matters the sign in the front of each number. The 5's got to be positive wherever he's at. The 8's got to be negative wherever he's at. Good? So far so good? B squared plus 4V minus 32. Try that one. Same kind of thing. Two parentheses, FOIL, multiply, add. <clears throat> to see these in the front what multiplies to be 32 and adds to be 4 what times what's 32 4 times, four. Four times 8 and then how do the signs go the sign in the middle is positive the bigger one's the positive the smaller one's the negative huh is that good or again you could have the v plus 8 coming first and the v minus 4 afterwards it's fine to switch the order but the 4 must be the negative wherever he's at and the 8 must be the positive wherever he's at. Questions? All is well? That's what they always do. They just throw fractions in there every now and then. So W squared plus 2 thirds W plus a ninth. Same thing. Do the two parentheses. You know they got to multiply to be a ninth, add to be 2 thirds. I bet you can figure that out. W's in the front, two parentheses. What multiplies to be, what times what's a ninth? A third times a third. Remember when you multiply, that'll be a ninth. That one times one is one, and three times three is nine. So it's got to be a third and a third, doesn't it? Now, do they, um, do they add to be two thirds? Yeah, sure. One third plus one third adds to be two thirds. That's it. That's perfect. Just like that. Now, uh, actually, we have the exact same thing twice here, don't we? Do what you do when you have the exact same thing twice? Yeah, you say, well, it's a two power on that, huh? So there we go. Is that good? Questions on that one? I think they'll take either one, but I could be wrong. Okay. 
So we've got 3C plus C squared minus 28. Okay, so try that one. What's the first step on that one? Rearrange them, reorder them. <coughs> they are out of order. So rearrange them. Okay, so rearranging them. First reorder. Put the C squared in the front. And then we factor with the two parentheses. C's, I look a little funny. C's in the front. What multiplies to be 28? What times what's 28? 7 and 4, 4 and 7, either order. Uh, they they got to add, add or subtract. Now, um, what are the, how do the signs go? The sign in the middle is plus. He goes on the... Bigger one, right? Sign in the middle always goes on the bigger. So plus 7, minus 4. Or you could have the minus 4 come in first, then the plus 7. It doesn't matter as long as the 7 is the positive one and the uh, 4 is the negative, wherever they're at. Is that good? Questions? Easy? You guys are laughing at this. It's easy trinomials, right? Probably what you're saying. All right, so... Let's try, this one will be a little more of a challenge. Okay. So, got to rearrange things because they're out of order. What have we learned about when, when, you, when you rearrange things, you got to take your baby with you, right? Whatever sign is in front of something, that's got to go with it. So, like that minus that's on the C squared, that's his baby. When push comes to shove and they start moving around, that's going with him. Right? And the plus in front of the C, that's going with him, and there's nothing in front of the 56, which means plus. Okay, so what does that mean? So, so first reorder. So when you reorder, you get minus C squared plus C plus 56. Good so far? Now we got a new problem. This is why this is a little more challenging. We've got a negative in front. Negative in front. Factor out minus 1, one big parenthesis, all signs switch. Remember this? Remember when you take out a negative, all the signs switch because you have a negative in the front? Same thing here. Now, only, why only negative 1? Because they have nothing else in common. If they had some other number in common, like if 2 went into all of them or something like that, then I would take out negative 2. But they don't. They have no number in common, yet I still have to get that minus sign factored off the front term. So I just do a minus 1. What happens? All the signs change. Minus c squared becomes regular c squared. Plus c becomes minus c. Plus 56 becomes minus 56. See how all the signs changed? And that's right, by the way, if you checked it. You don't have to, but let's just look at it. Minus 1 times c squared, that would go back. Minus times minus, that would be plus C. Minus times minus, that would be plus 56. It's right, isn't it? It's true. Okay, after all that, you, you, you leave that minus 1 sitting in the front. And now, now finally, we'll do the two parentheses, the normal stuff we've been doing for the last half an hour. Now finish it from there. So that was all kind of preliminary work, rearranging and... Factoring out minus one. So 
So C's in the front. What time is lunch 56? Yeah, you just calculate if you're rusty. 7 times 8. Um, sign in the middle is minus 1. Where does the sign in the middle always go? To the bigger. To the bigger. So it's going to go over here on the 8. 7's plus. Plus 7 minus 8. Yeah, that's minus 1. Yeah. We got it. Again, you can rearrange. You can put the C minus 8 here and C plus 7 there. It doesn't matter. But the 8's got to be negative wherever he is, and the 7's got to be positive wherever he is. And the minus 1 in the front is part of the overall answer. He still has to be there. We got it. Is that okay? What was different here? When we rearranged, we noticed we had a minus in the front. You can't leave that minus in the front. You have to factor out a negative 1 in the front, and all the signs change when you do. Is that good? Questions on that? Do it quick. We're in good shape time-wise. We're going to get on to the next section. All right. W to the fourth plus 2W squared minus 48. It's going to be the normal one. Give, give it a try. Oh, yeah, it's okay. All right, so now, is there anything in common to all those? No. So we go right into the two parentheses. And so front times front to make W to the... Now, what times what's going to make W to the fourth? W to the second. W to the second. Powers are going to add. Right, remember powers add. Okay, and then what times what multiplies to be 48? Six times eight. Sign in the middle. Plus goes on the eight. Minus on the six. Plus eight minus six. There we go. And you can put the plus 8 first and the minus 6. It doesn't matter. Good on that? We'll keep moving. The whole section's easy. Okay, so w, w squared plus 10WF plus 16F squared. Okay. <clears throat> so... What does that mean? Well, let me, let me just help you with the letters. The numbers are the same. Basically, when you have W squared or whatever coming first on the left, right? We have W squared on the left. You know. That's just going to mean W's in the left of each parenthesis. Likewise, when you have F squared on the right, guess what that's going to mean? That's going to be F on the right of each parenthesis. So that's the same pattern. W squared on the left means W in the left of each parenthesis. F squared on the right means F's in the right of each parenthesis. The middle will automatically work out with the WF thing. You don't even have to think about it. Just do the numbers now. All the rest is the same. So what multiplies to be 16 and adds to be 10? 8 and 2. 2 times 8 16 adds to be 10. Both plus. There we go. Good. I move on. So no big deal. W squared left, W is in the left. F squared on the right, F's in the right. So seventy eight minus R squared minus 7. Yeah, let me give you a little time on that. That one's a good one. It'll be good practice. 
What's, so what's the first thing to do? <laughs> Rearrange them, right? Take their babies with them when you move them around. Whatever signs in the front, that's theirs. So rearrange them first. So we put that 78 at the back, jump it back there like that. Good so far? And now, what do we have to do? Good. Because of that negative in the front, remember that we'd have one of those a minute ago. You got to do the, the, the special up. So let me write negative in the front means negative one. One big parenthesis. So you have to do the one big parenthesis step before you do the two. It's going to be two more steps, isn't it? You know what I mean? We're going to do negative one, one big parenthesis, and then, then we'll go to the two after that. You guys getting the pattern? Whenever there's a negative in the front, negative in the front, you've got to do the extra step with the um, negative one, with the one big parenthesis where all the signs change, you know, and then go to the two parenthesis. Everybody seeing that? It's like what we did right here. Right there. Right? Negative in the front. Factor out the negative one. One big parenthesis. All signs switch. Same thing. Change all those signs. Factor from there. Good? Okay, so all the signs change, so we get r squared plus 7r minus 78. Good, switch all the signs. Now, you should calculate, right? I don't know. 7 times 12? No. 13 times 6. Okay, 6 times 13. You just, how do you get that? You just take 78, and you just start dividing by things. Yeah, in case you're wondering, well, how do people come up with that? Because you're looking for two things that multiply to be 78, and they add to be 7. So if you're, you know, I didn't remember it off the top of my head. Just take your calculator... Uh, take 78, just divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 4, divide by 5, divide by 6. Every time you divide, you get a, a possible, a possibility. So divide by 2, what is that, 39? And you go, can 2 and 39 do it? No, they can't make 7. Right, because they also, also have to make the middle, don't they? They can't make 7. Divide by 3. What is that? Is it 26? 26. It is 26. 68, yeah. Can 3 and 26 make 7? No way. Divide by 4. Doesn't even work. 4 is some crazy decimal. Doesn't even work. Divide by 5. Crazy decimal. Doesn't work. Divide by 6. You go 6 and 13. Can they make 7? Oh, yeah. They can make 7 by subtracting, right? So there you go. 6 and 13. Everybody see how to do that? If you got 7, because they're going to get big on you. Sometimes in the homework, sometimes in the next exam, they'll have like 278 over there. Yeah. You won't know it off the top of your head. You're going to need to use your calculator. Right, and just start dividing different numbers until you get a, you get the options. You know, you get a some big pair over here that can also make the middle. It's got to do both, right? So six and thirteen. How do the signs go? Sign in the middle. Goes on. Oh, I forgot my R's in the front here. Goes on the bigger. Plus thirteen minus six is plus seven in the middle. We got it. Either order, you can have the minus six back here and the plus thirteen there. That's fine. Questions. Are we good with these? Almost ready for the hard ones?